Welcome to Whiskey Vault. I'm Daniel. I am Rex. This Daniel. is from Matthew Zittrick, patron saint in Somalia. Matthew Zittrick, you patron saint of whiskey. Ooh, that's a nice contrast. It's like a wind chime. Right? Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's like a third, a third step. All right, so. Or not third step. But. <laughs> this is Sagamore, which we've had before. Our mission as a brand. Should we choose to accept it? Yeah. Drink this whiskey. It's to imbibe. Remember, this, this is Barrett. a Baltimore, Maryland right. Sagamore. This is sourced from MGP. Okay. It's a six-year-old. We, we just did this. I know. This is a six-year-old MGP. Yeah. Oh, six. Yeah. Ah, okay. And I don't know what their... Uh, so typically what they do is they blend a low rye and a high rye mash bill from MGP okay. together. Right? Um, okay. Okay. You know what? I have the MGP ninety three percent rye from the pre like yesterday's yeah. thing. You still have it? It's right here. Okay, good because I messed mine up. Okay, wait, hang on a second though. So what they do is they take a barrel you pick, yeah, and then they a six year old barrel, and then they blend it with another barrel. Then what good is a barrel pick? Well, I, that's what I can't figure out. But they said... Because like individual barrels are noticeably different. Yeah, but it does say barrel 72. So it could be that just this text on the back is generic text and they really uh, did just pick one barrel. That would make more sense. Yeah. Because it's a big pain in the ass to change label text. Right. Yeah. Yeah, because once you change that, you have to reapply for shit. But this is barrel 72. This was chosen by the other YouTube channel, the Whiskey Crusaders, <laughs> oh, nice. which is the Poppies and yeah, yeah, yeah. Zittrick. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Good people. We've um, had them multiple times. And there's stickers on the back. Oh, yeah, so they got the stickers. They, chose, they were sent samples and they chose this. You can actually, um, it's available in Dallas, evidently. Yeah. It's not Dallas, it's like Col Colleyville. So the first of all, it's got a nice age on there for. For an MGP rice, six years. Yeah. Nice. And this is a very aromatic nose. I haven't even smelled it yet. Aromatic. It's like this cross between, I want to say, for me, a nice balance of an herbal sandalwood, for lack of a better term. There's some type of boutique-y wood in there. If you go into a boutique store. Yeah, I get that. I'm also getting a weird lemon zest, a zest. that I don't normally get on a rye. A zest? I don't know. I'm looking for the citrus here. It's it, a really nice. It's candied it's citrus. It's a really nice, present, robust nose. It's mm -hmm. balancing multiple things. We're not coloring far outside the lens. No, right. it has We're the dark about, density that I liked of the yeah, Rittenhouse. I think that comes from uh, the, just cooking for six years, because you'll find stuff that's you know half that age, which is still nice. But I think the thing the extra time delivers is. There's a little bit more density and saturation in those notes. They just feel heavier. I'm betting they have a review of this whiskey on their channel, so oh, yeah. you should go watch it if yeah, yeah, yeah. If they do. Just put in uh, Sagamore Spirit Whiskey Crusaders. I'll bet you'll find it. I'm going in. They've all got good, really good nose and really good palates. Yeah, nothing ever got too sharp or pointy. I don't know. There's a... It was just all center core rye flavors. There's a black pepper aggression on the back third for me. I didn't get any aggression. <clears throat> I just got nice, I didn't, meaty center did core. Did you spread it around or anything? Because I did, and it sort of... Well, I don't spread it around right out of the gate. I know what I'm doing. That's not what the locker room said. That was on the bathroom stall. <laughs> yep. Rex Williams, he spreads it around. <laughs> And he knows what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. There's a... You know what it is? I'm getting... This reminds me of Dad's story. I am the, I am the Eggman. I am the Eggman. I'm the walrus. <laughs> Dad, Dad was teaching at a college. All right. And, you know, he's, he's like, I'm going to put my contribution to the bathroom stall limericks and things right so he wrote i am the egg man i am the egg man i am the walrus <laughs> and he's like i want to see what they do with that he came back a couple days later and underneath it someone had written you are an idiot <laughs> <laughs> and i found who that was and i gave them an f <laughs> 
It's not as dominant there, but there's a there's, there's a peppery there's, note. All right, there's multiple things going on. There's an herbal tea. There's an oakiness, which is usually the kind of oakiness that I'll find in a bourbon. Yeah, it's there's an herbal tea. There's like a bourbon oakiness. There's some honey in there. The wood spice is what's taken over oh, for me. Oh, the wood but spice. So the, I think your peppery peppery zest is, is the wood what spice. I'm seeing is like the oakiness. Yeah. Okay. And I'm also getting this almost prune, like middle, like astringent prune. Yeah, it's like a it's like a fruit that's astringent. Mm. I don't get astringent. Because I'm, look, I am in rye. Mm -hmm. And no, rye for me is always more lively and spicy. And all the notes that, are get, that I'm getting are just core rye notes. Yeah. There's no black licorice to speak of. Mm -hmm. There is the herbal quality, but it's balanced against this, like, uh, this oakiness. No, there's a, oh, you're low too. There's a dry astringency to this that's catching me as on the finish. See, I, again, I push back on astringent. I will say there is a dryness to this. On the finish, specifically on the finish. It's the aftertaste is that dry tannin dominant note. Mm -hmm. You see what I mean? Let's compare it to. Uh, we can compare it to another Sagamore. Fine, good. Because uh, this is. What's the proof on that one? 55% uh, ABV, 110 proof. Uh, so let's, uh, let's yeah, do the cask strength Sagamore. Just from them, so the AB comparison. What was was it the 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 Tippleton pin hook? It was a pin hook. Mm -hmm. The pin hook ninety three percent rye that we did recently, compared to the Sagamore. The Sagamore does have more of like that bourbon oakiness on the nose. This is their the rip. pin hook is a little bit more of the leaning heavier into that herbal rye direction. This is the Sagamore release of a proof at that level. Ah. And then, yeah, the herbal pin hook is the champion note in that. Totally different nose. Oh, it is. Oh, totally wow. different oh, wow. nose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Goodness. This is... I don't even know that I would immediately pick that as rye on the nose comparatively. I, yeah. Th like, if I was going blind, I might. But right now, this is way... This, the Zitric choice, way more rye. This presents... Uh, it's, it's different enough that it presents as a different whiskey. Yeah. Like, oh, okay, this is two different brands. They did some stuff. And man, it's and the, I keep saying Zigger, but it's a Crusaders pick, I think. It's the funky adventure of the barrel picks, man. You get variety, which is one of the most fun things, I think, about whiskey. There's a honey soft and a cloth type, like an old yeah. stored clothes. Yeah. In, in, the, in the Sagamore version. Oh, the Sagamore, okay. In their version. Like, I think malt balls, right? The old oh, stored yeah. clothes, right? Yeah, yeah. A little bit of that closet musty. Mm -hmm. And way more like typical. It's sweeter. No too. tannin, it's much sweeter. Yeah. Much more dense sugars. This has all it's, the wood it, spice. It's simpler mm -hmm. in the Sagamore version. In mm -hmm. the Crusaders version, there's more layers to it. Way more layers. And it's way more barrel spice and pepper, and right. then a way drier finish. I would say this. I would say the Sagamore version is going to be, because of the sweetness, mm -hmm. the sweet kernel in that center, that's going to be more of a market version. People right. just want the sweetness. I think in terms of an exploration version. Whiskey nerd version. Yeah, then the Crusaders. Yeah, I get that. Yeah. That's nice, man. It is nice. I like that. All right. Uh, we got the Matthew Bishop. My son just asked if that was red licorice Rex, Rex Williams tosses to Daniel in the Titan video. It was not. No, no. Son, it was <laughs> definitely red licorice. <laughs> it didn't flop enough for the red licorice. Have you not thrown red licorice? L red licorice flops like crazy. But no, but that in the video it didn't flop. It was very stiff. You must have banded it together with a zip tie. It was not like red licorice. It was red vines. It was not red vines because they would have gone like this. No. It was solid. definitely it's firm. Red vines. It's firm. Red vines. Solid. Red vines. Just right there. Feel it. Feel the, the firmness on there. Get I would, but there's wrap, no one here to show wrap, me. Wrap the hands around that. <laughs> Feel the tight. It's there's, like a, there, it's, like a, it's like a rack. There's no one here to explore that for me. It's just going to be a... Ross. Right there. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, well, that, it's like slightly overcooked jello. I don't want you to be embarrassed. <laughs> <It's> slightly. <laughs> it's like the firmness you get, like the skin on top of a pudding. Yeah. <laughs> That's how much firmness you get. <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, Ross Fudd. I'm including this. Oh, good morning, gentlemen. I'm, I'm including this as he seems to do oh, yeah, it yeah. every video. Persistent. Terry said this. Good morning, Ross Fudd. Yeah. Everybody says, good morning, gentlemen. Good this morning. This is at 10. <laughs> Ross Fudd. Good morning to you. Good morning to you, Ross sir. He's, he's the morning gentleman. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day in the neighborhood. Won't you be mine? I bet he will. Won't you be mine? We did. Right there. Right there. That's the opposite of Mr. Rogers. Yes. I have a shrine to Mr. Rogers in my office. Have you seen the shrine? No. Next time we go there, I'll show you. It's like a... It's like it got special lighting and everything. What, how is it? What do you have that's focused on Mr. Rogers? I'll show you. You don't believe me? No. Hey, Siri, call Alex. I mean, I love Mr. Rogers. Did you watch the movies? Did you cry? Yes. All right, quick question. Yes or no, do I currently have a shrine to Mr. Rogers in the studio? Yes. Thank you, bye. What? Bye. No. No, I mean, I believe you, but I don't know that I've ever seen it. Because you don't pay attention to me. Yeah, look, <laughs> if it didn't happen to me, it didn't happen. Pretty much. Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight, may you fight for a friend. You steal, may you steal your lover's heart. And if you drink, may you drink with us. Da I need a ladder. Da 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 da. That's... The, the, there's a pacing to this. You got the pacing. You're not doing your part. Watch the bottles. The bottle. Lord. I'll meet you up here. It's Kyle Ramey, barrel strength gentleman.